Hey guys, there will be moments where you need to extract a logo from a PDF. To do so, we need to open up this PDF into Illustrator. So right now we're currently viewing this in Acrobat, but let's go into Illustrator. Any version of Illustrator will work. File, open. Locate your PDF. I'm just going to select it. I'm actually going to double click it. Or I can select it once and then click on open. What happens is that as soon as I double click it, I get an 18 page PDF preview and I can actually select whatever page I want it to go to. Because I know it's on page one, I can enter the word number one and say OK. It takes a couple of seconds to, to load up that one page. Right off the bat, Adobe is telling me that I have missing fonts with the missing font dialog box. It's telling me I'm missing a London font. And I can tell because it's, it's in highlight in pink and white. Because my logo is in the bottom right hand corner and it's not highlighted at all, I, I could say it's, I'm, I'm good to go. So let's close this off. I'm going to zoom in in this area. So I'm just going to hold down my keyboard, Command, Spacebar. And if you're on a PC, it'd be Control, Spacebar. And I auto automatically get the magnifying zoom tool. So now I can go zoom right in. Click and drag the area of your mouse on your, on your page. Okay, like so. I release everything. I'm going to release everything on my on my keyboard as well as my mouse. And now I'm just going to pan up a bit. And this time I'm going to use my space bar on my keyboard. I get the little hand here, and then I'm going to pan it right up here so I can see everything here. So the main logo that we do need to have is basically the the word, the darker rectangle purple, the white stroke, as well as this this as well the outline part of the light purple here. Now we don't need the other part here in the white here authentic and, and the date and a product and we don't need the stars or the circle. Unfortunately the circle is part of the rectangle so what we need to do is do we have to delete some anchor points to, to do so. So to do that we need to have the direct selection to select it first and we need to select the path and that's your path here. Once the path is, is selected, now we can go ahead and use the delete anchor point to in the pen tool. Now mine is currently selected at the moment, but if yours is not, just click and hold on the pen tool until you see the four different options of selecting your, your tools. So we're going to select the delete anchor point tool. And now with the path still selected, we can go ahead and now delete those paths that are, that are unnecessary in our, for our final file. Now I do like how to have a nice clean file and this is just me being a little bit anal. So if you want, you can actually delete the extra anchor points in this file. Because as a perfect rectangle, you should only have four points selected anyways. So I'm go there. And there we have just the rectangle part with the light purple, the white, the, the dark purple, as well as the word in here. So now I can go ahead and deselect it. So I'm going to select any of my toolbox to, to get out of my pen tool. And one more time, I'm just going to click off it onto my artboard here so that I have just nothing selected. Once we have everything unselected, now we can go ahead and delete some stuff as well. Currently, we're looking at this in a preview view mode, but we're going to change this view mode to be a wireframe mode or an outline mode. This allows us to see a little bit more in detail in what we can actually select and delete if needed. To do so, we're going to go to View, Outline. And as you, as, as you can see, the picture is now no longer there, but it's hidden, but it becomes in a wireframe mode. With the direct selection to select it, I can go ahead and do a marquee selection, click and drag, and just select the areas that I want to delete here. So right now what it does is it's going to select my authentic, my stars, and my circle, but as well as it's also deleting my background image by the looks of it. So I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard, and I hit it delete again, because I don't need those two points here at, the, here at all, so I'm going to delete that as well. And then I'm going to select the bottom portion, of the date and the word product as well as the CA-EN and I'm just going to go ahead and delete that as well and I don't need those two blue 
endpoints. So I'm just that as, and there we go. So we're almost there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to clean up this logo here still. Um, what I want to do is I, st I still want to extract this logo from this PDF and paste this into a new document. So that allows me, to, so I know for a fact that this is just a logo only. I'm going to go ahead and now select again the direct selection tool. And just do a marquee selection just around the logo itself. And I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to edit, copy. Create a new document in Illustrator. Go File, New, or Command N or Control N in, in a PC environment. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste this. Go Edit, Paste. And there's your logo. Now what I may do as well is I'm going to make this artboard a little bit smaller. Currently this size is, is a letter, bar, letter size artboard size. So I'm going to click on Document Setup, Edit Artboards, and then I'm just going to go ahead and just resize these corners here. Oops. Like so. Size like that. And then I'm going to click, get out of the artboard section. And now I'm going to save this. File, save as. I'm going to name it Sensei-Logo. I'm going to save it as an Illustrator format, which is fine. I could also save it as an EPS or a PDF as well as SVG. But in this case, I'm going to save it as an Illustrator file. Click on Save. I'm going to save it as a version of CC. If for those who are using an older version, you can also save it into any of the other versions here that we have. And then click on OK. And there you have it. 